Hey Upward Families, welcome to our last tip for this season. All right, well the weather's getting a little nicer, the snow's cleared, so it's time to get outside with your basketballs and practice a little bit of dribbling. So here's a tip for today on how you can practice your dribbling. So I want you to take your ball and find a spot that you can dribble and start by just doing a slow dribble while you're walking. Try to keep your head up while you dribble. Once you do it slow, then you can start moving a little bit faster, but don't forget to do it with your left hand as well. So take your basketball, practice some laps, dribbling, start slow, make sure you dribble with your left hand and your right hand, and then slowly build up the speed and try and dribble, keeping your head up. Well, that's your tip for today. Hey Upward Families, welcome back to our last devotion. So, we have talked about perseverance, we've talked about cooperation, we've talked about hope. Today we're going to talk a little bit about faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And our verse about faith is God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. And that's found in the Bible in Ephesians 2 verse 8. In sports, we play to win. We work as a team to reach our goal. We cheer for each other and encourage each other along the way. But when it comes to what we believe, it isn't about what we need to do. It's all about what Jesus has already done for us. You see, Jesus has already done what we could never do. He made a way for us to win. He made a way for us to have a relationship with God that will last forever. And you know, the first thing what we have to do is admit the truth because all of us have messed up. The Bible has a word for that. The Bible calls it sin. And sin is anything that we do that we know is wrong. You know, if you spill your drink at a dinner table, that isn't a sin. It's an accident. But telling a lie or having a mean thought about your brother or sister, that's a sin. And in Romans 3, verse 23 in the Bible, it says everyone has sinned. No one measures up to God's glory. Do you think that God has ever sinned? No, God is perfect. And because we can't not sin, our sin separates us from him. But that's not the end of the story. God didn't want us to be separated from him. He loves us so much that he sent Jesus to be our savior. Jesus lived the perfect life. He showed people what God is like with the things he did and the words that he said. He taught that above everything else, we should love God and love others. The way Jesus died was the ultimate act of love. He died on the cross to pay the price for our sin so that our sin would no longer be in the way between us and God. But Jesus didn't stay dead. You know, as we're coming up to Easter, that's what we celebrate, that Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life and he proved that he really is God's son, the savior of the world. So how do we accept this amazing gift for ourselves? It's simple. We can make the decision to believe. It could be a prayer that you say to God where you tell him you're sorry for the wrong things you've done and that you're putting your faith in Jesus as your savior. Listen to these words from 1 John 1 verse 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing that we've done. Well, does that sound like good news to you? You bet it is. It's the best news ever. Nothing could ever be more important than in your entire life than your decision to believe in Jesus. Here's the thing, no one can make that decision for you. Not your parents, not your siblings, or your teammates, or your pastor, or your coach. It's a decision between you and God. If putting your faith in Jesus sounds like something you want to do, make sure you talk to Jesus. Take some time to spend with him and pray and talk to him. And then if you want to tell someone about it, 
see if you can email me. I'd love to know, and I'd love to be able to pray for you as well. Well, thank you so much for listening to these devotions. We hope that you're doing well, and we can't wait to see you next season.